I'm Billy May. And I'm Philippa. And today we're going to be painting a cityscape. If you'd like to join us in painting the cityscape today, all the equipment you'll need for it will be in the description below. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put in a horizontal line going across our canvas. This is going to show where the sky finishes and where the water starts. Does that sound okay? So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to do just a really quick line across my page. So that's just going to give me a guide. So if you guys would like to do that. Okay, now you've done that, what we're going to do is put in our buildings. So when we're doing our buildings, can you see they all want to be at different heights? Because we're going to start off with the orange, if we only just put the big ones in, you're not going to see that colour orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all different height buildings in. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. We're going to put some rectangles in. So I'm going to start over here. They're all going to be different sizes. So I'm going to do one here. Now, when you're doing these, don't make them too small because we've got paint inside and we want to make them kind of look 3D and if they're too small, we won't be able to achieve that. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple up higher and I'm just going to work along my line, giving me some different size buildings. Are you right to do that, guys? Perfect. Okay, so now if you have any little bits that you need to rub out, this is the time to do it because once the paint goes on there, we're not going to be able to rub out any marks. So say on this bit here, if you want to rub that bit out, I'd do that now because it will show through the paint. So pencil is really tricky to cover over. So I'll give you that and then if you want to do your little bit. There you go. Perfect. Right guys, so we're going to start off with an orange into a yellow into a blue. So is there anything we need to be careful of? What, what colours might yellow and blue make? Green. green. And we don't want a green sky, do we? So we're going to make sure we don't get a green sky. A little bit of green's all right, but not too green. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Now, by using the colours yellow and orange, okay, I know that they don't cover much at all. So I should be able to paint over the top of my building somewhat and be able to see my lines through there that I can still go over with the black. Does that make sense? Yep. So that way, because what way does the sky go? That way. Goes that way, so it's horizontal, isn't it? So I want all my brush strokes to be horizontal from the sky. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use these big flat brushes today. So if you pop your hand out, oh, mine's covered in paint. You can see what I've been doing today. Okay, and we want to go backward and forward, backward and forward, backward and forward, just really softly, and that way we'll get really nice strokes. Do you know what this brush is called? A blending brush. It's called a blending brush. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use this, but this is like buffering out any marks that we get from our paint. So you know, Annabelle, when you put all them sticky fingerprints on your mum's windows, and she has to get the cloth and go like scrub them out. Well, this is what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be rubbing out our marks of paint. Sound okay? So if I do a little bit, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to start off with the orange. Okay, so I never use just one colour, because one colour on its own I find is a little bit boring. However, I don't want to mix my colours. What I want to be able to see, okay, is when I come across, some yellow come out, some orange come out, okay, but not one flat colour. Does that make sense? So my orange is darker than my yellow, so I know that if I put a lot of orange on, that's gonna come out and be more dominant and overpower the yellow. So I'm gonna take my yellow first, and can you see, when I'm doing it, I'm pulling out really flat. Can you see that? And this is called loading up your brush. I'm loading that brush up. Can you see all that lovely yellow? Now, I'm just gonna take just a sliver of that orange. So I've got way more yellow than orange, okay? And on my first brush stroke, 
my building start here, okay? So like I said, I'm not gonna worry about just doing that bit and that bit. I'm gonna come right across. So fingers crossed, we should be able to see my pencil marks, and can we? Yeah. yeah. So I know where my buildings are gonna go. For my next bit, I'm gonna wipe out that paint. I still want a little bit of orange in there, because remember, one color's just flat, but I don't want too much, so I'm just wiping it on my plate. I'm then going to pick up loads more yellow. So this will be my medium colour, okay? So it's not gonna be my lightest yellow. Again, I'm gonna to touch that orange, okay? So by touching it, I mean my brush is gonna go on top of my last bit of orange, and I'm gonna come side to side again. Can you see that, guys? Yeah. And I'm just working that in there. Now, this is where we use our blending brush, and this is gonna, this is like our magic brush. Can you see all these horrible little marks I've got on my painting? Yeah. I'm going to take my blending brush now and I'm going to start from the top because that's where it's lightest and I'm just going to smooth them all in. Can you see that? So all of a sudden that line goes and I get a really nice sunset. Shall we all do that bit first of all? Yeah? Remember going some way to side. Do you know what you're doing when you're going side to side all the time? You're blending, aren't you? Yeah? So once you've done that first kind of whip of your brush, you're gonna then knock some of that orange off on your plate. That's it. So you're gonna knock them off. Well, not knock them off, but knock the paint off. <laughs> okay, and once you feel like enough's out, just give it a little wipe on your artist rag. So give it a little wipe, get a little bit more off of there. And then can you remember what colour you're picking up now? Yeah. Just yellow, aren't you? Because you've already got some orange on your brush. So Beautiful. Once we've done that part, we're gonna give our brush a really good wash out. Wash it out here. And then, again, I'm going to use my artist rag and that's going to check all the yellows out there because whilst it's still looking like this, is yours a bit like this? Yeah, that's not So, what our next bit is we're going to stop where we are. We're not going to carry on working out. We're going to work down now because I want to be a little bit bluer at the top and then I want to get lighter and lighter, almost into a white again so it can blend in with that yellow. Okay, so do you mind if I just show you? And then we'll start. So even though I want to be a stronger blue at the top, I want to still use lots of white. I like to use a lot of white girls, don't I? So now, all I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna take a sliver. So can you see, a bit like an ice cream. I'm gonna start from the top, and I'm gonna work down, okay? Going backwards and forwards, or side to side. On my next step, I'm gonna wash out my brush again because I've got too much blue in there now. I'm gonna give it a wipe. And I'm now going to take loads of white. Loads of white. And I'm gonna take a teeny tiny dot of blue. I'm gonna to touch what I last did, so it's the same, same kind of process. Okay, and can you see I'm just getting that bit lighter. Now all I'm gonna do for my next bit is take the rest of that white. Okay, taking the rest of the white. I'm gonna to touch what I last did, and just above the yellow, so I'm not touching the yellow yet, I'm just above it. We must leave that gap. And I'll explain why in a minute. Yep, okay, so your brushes are nice and clean. So you're just gonna load up that white. That's it, really a real side. Okay, and then if you both stop there, now, We've got some fresh water now. 
Oh. And we're going to give them brushes a really good wash out in the fresh water. I'm going to take some white on my brush. Now this time, you know how we've had our brush going um, vertical, so I've had it that way. Okay. This time, oh, I'm going to go horizontal and I'm just going to blend it through really gently. So I'm going to barely touch my canvas. So when I do it, I'm just going to come through here. There's a tight squeeze on here. And can you see, I'm just pulling that down through there. Can you see, I'm just wiggling it in through there. Now what I'm going to do is take my blending brush and then wipe it through. Okay? Does that sound okay, girls? Yeah. So, remember, your white goes on your brush and you're coming down like this. Just lots of little brush strokes. Yeah, sound okay? Yeah. Remember, no big ones because we'll be blending it in. Sound all right? Perfect. That's it. Lots of little brush strokes. They're ever so delicate. That's it. And make sure you touch the blue as well. Beautiful. So the next thing we're going to do is, underneath all this kind of black and the reflection, is the water, okay? So because the water would be the background and the reflection sitting on top, we need to do the background first. Okay, I'm so going to use some on my blue, but I'm going to take a little bit of purple and white, okay? So again, I'm not going to mix them on my palette, I'm going to mix them when we're on our canvas. Because when we're going side to side, that's what we're doing, we're mixing our colours. Right, so I'm still going to load up my brush with white. So I'm going to take lots of that blue, okay? So I've got some white on there, but I've got lots of blue. I'm going to take a tiny little bit of purple, okay? I'm going to come along here and I'm going to go in where my line is. I'm not worried if I go on my buildings because I know my buildings are going to be black, okay, which is a darker colour, which means it will do what to the lighter colour? Cover. It will cover everything, okay? So I'm just going to come along here and I'm just going side to side. Now, it's water, so I don't mind having a little bit of a wave. Not the seam, but what, where's yours going to be? Is yours a river or a sea, or what's it going to be? A river. A river, my too. Ocean. An ocean, nice. Okay, so are you guys all right to do that? Yes. And we're just going to take that to the bottom of our canvas. Sound okay? Lovely. Remember, keep it going side to side the whole time. So don't get you can still use a blending brush, okay? We've had to change our blending brushes because the last one would have orange in it, okay? So, because it would be dragging the orange through. So now, I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just do it all the way to the bottom. That's it, make sure you've got plenty of paint on that brush. So don't forget, you can always spin your canvas upside down. If it's getting tricky to get to that bottom bit, spin it upside down so it's like you're starting at the top again. How come you two, your areas are very clean and mine's very messy? Mm -hmm. Right, so when you're ready, take your blending brush. That's it, and remember just, just across. Oh, we've got a spray. I'm going to turn that Yeah, turn it upside down if you need yeah, to. Turn it upside down. Very nice. 
That's it. And remember, we're on one side to the other. Are you happy? Brilliant, put your blending brush in there. And then once we've done, we need to let that dry for at least like 15 minutes, okay, so we can put the black on. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna do a practice first. So I'm just gonna draw myself two buildings next to each other really roughly so you can see how we're gonna make these 3D. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to show where one finishes and where the next one starts. So I'm gonna start off with my palette. I'm gonna use my flat brush. So I've got a very small flat brush, okay? Really good for detailing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off darker and then gradually get lighter towards the end. Then when I get to my next building, I'm gonna start darker and get gradually lighter. And we're gonna work along like that. So for my first step, I'm gonna take some of this black, I put a little bit of water on my brush, not too much, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this down. So I'm gonna start at the top here, okay? And I'm gonna come down, and my paint starts to run out like that. I'm gonna turn my brush over, and if it goes on this side, I'm gonna pick up some more. Okay, so can you see, I've done my first side. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take some of that black again, a little bit of black, but this time I'm gonna pick up some white, okay? So again, I'm now gonna paint that in. And I'm gonna come up and down because I want it to blend. So can you see it's gradually getting lighter? And then on my next step, I'm not gonna put any more black on there. I'm just gonna take some white. And I've got loads of black on my brush. So this, should now get lighter as I go down. Again. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more white just to finish it off. And can you see all right, guys? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So then I've got my darker side and I've got my lighter side. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm just gonna show you on this one. So I don't really need to wash my brush out because if I pick up lots of black, that's gonna overpower my white. Again, gonna knock that off, make it a bit flatter. Just gonna come down here, put my first strip of black in. And then I'm gonna pick up some white. I'm going to do that on my final strip. It looks a bit like the sunset that we did, but it's... It does. If you are ready, you can start doing that. Now, also, don't feel like you have to be doing it facing up this way. Okay, you can turn it to the side if it's easier. Do it however it's easiest for you. Don't worry about it going along the bottom here either. We're gonna put a black line in there, so it doesn't matter if it goes over. Beautiful. So now you just wanna take a little bit of that off your brush and put lots of white in there. Remember, just keep your paintbrush going up and down the whole time. This time we don't want to be going horizontal, we want to be showing those nice tall buildings. Do you do much art when you're at home, girls? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, you've got a very arty sister, haven't you? And what about your sister, Billy May? Is she very arty too? Yeah, she likes, I like drawing and painting. 
And I know both your mums are very arty too, aren't they? What do you think's your favourite part of painting? Oh, so I like starting the painting off, yeah. and I like finishing the painting. I can tell you what my worst part is: the middle bit, because you always go through a certain stage that you don't like your work, and then all of a sudden it comes together. So my favourite part of the painting really would be finishing off. Because I think it's important that you spend lots of time doing the finishing off bits because it's the little bits that count. What do you think makes good a good artist? Um, probably trying your best and trying to try and every time you do a painting see if it gets better. Yeah, absolutely. So lots of people, they'll keep work from like when they're, you know, really little and then they'll go back to it when they're older to see how much they've improved. I think your two is the best. <laughs>
So it's touching the other reflector and it's all kind of blending, but it's just going to come down slightly lower. When I'm doing that, I can also put a little bit of white on my brush and just pull that through as well, can't I? Because I know white and black make grey. Are we all right to do that? Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to do your black line first, okay? Put in your kind of wall and then we're going to put in your reflection. your first little bits of your reflection take your new blending brush and I'm just going to drag that across can you see so we need to do one reflection then pull it across with the blending brush because we're going to be putting our yellow and white on okay to get a kind of our, our looking like those lights on in the buildings we need to wait for this to dry again okay so take a little break and we'll be back in 10 minutes once it's dry so for the final part what we now need to do is put our lights on in the buildings okay and also in the reflection so we've made sure our painting is dry now when I'm going to do this, I'm going to go in with what's called a dry brush. So that means I'm going to put my paint on my brush, but I'm going to knock most of it off. Because if I don't knock it off, then it's going to be a big blob. Okay? So I'm going to take some of this white, and I'm going to add some yellow in it. Okay? So I don't want it too light. So about that colour is just fine. Now, what I'm going to do on my palette is, can you see, I'm using that paint. Okay, so actually, when it's come off, there's not too much on there. And all I'm gonna do from here, okay, is just on the lighter side, so remember, we wanna keep the dark a bit darker, but on the lighter side, I'm just gonna take it and just kind of drag just a little bit down. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna do that here as well. So it's called a dry brush. Now, when it runs out though, we have to put some more on. Okay, so we can't do it completely dry. So that colour that I've mixed up, I'm going to take again, but I'm going to knock it off. So I'm just painting my colour. And again, it just comes on here, and can you see, I'm just kind of, just pulling down. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Are you right to do that? Yeah. Yeah? Perfect. Because these office workers are working late tonight. and just keep moving on. So it doesn't have to be lots on there. We want the majority of the building to be playing black and grey. That's 
Yeah. So keep that'll be fine. And then just a little bit, just a little bit on there. So it's just really on the tips of my brush I'm just using. I'm just pulling that down. That's it, that's probably enough. And then move on to your next one. Now we're going to leave that brush as it is and all I want to do now is just put a little bit of that exact same colour in my reflection. So all I'm going to do is take my brush, knock it off again with that yellow and just add it just a little bit. Can you see? Nothing too much. And I'm just coming through here now just to add something to my reflection. <laughs> Okay, so are we all done? Yeah. Okay, and there you have it, our beautiful cityscapes. We hope you enjoyed it. See you again next time. Bye. Bye.